Hey YouTube, it's Sean. And we're working on this IMAX B6 AC dual power. So it's got a built in AC adapter. And I bought this on eBay as parts of repair. And let's see if we can fix it. All right. I did take it apart. <clears throat> Very easy to take apart on the set side of it. It's just got screws. And I took one side out, slid it apart, and it's janky. It's built janky. Um, let me see if I can bring you in here and show you. The screen, the digital display on this thing, right here, is all gibberish. And it would go on and off gibberish look like a message from Mars but uh, <clears throat> found some problem areas inside on the board I'm gonna see if I can get you in here where you can see them oh a little too much but there is a trace. Duh. Hang on. Yeah, there is a trace. Ooh, let's bring you back out. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I can show you right between there anyway that connection there is bridged by slag solder slag and then I also found a bad, this is a bad solder job, across here. And I also found that there, let's bring it back the other way. Right in here, they did not clip these back far enough. And... The resistors on the other side are touching places they shouldn't in there. So that's what's inside one, guys. And then they just put in a cheap little uh, little uh, wall wart adapter. Well, it's not really a wall board, it's like a laptop adapter. And then this is really janky. Look at that. So we're going to go through here. And there's a lot of slag on it around in between the poles. The poles. So we're going to go around and through there and clean it up. Yeah, we're going to clean it up, and we're going to see if we can get this thing working, and get the screen to stop being gibberish. Alright, we'll bring you back, guys. Hang on. Alright, folks, uh, we've went in, and I used a little tiny wire brush little brass one and you can already see the traces or the solder joints look better they're not perfect we haven't soldered anything yet but I removed all their sloppy slag between the joints 
all the drippings that the machine made. These aren't hand soldered. And um, some of these resistors are still, I mean, running really close. Excuse me about the camera. Like that one's. And that one's worse. Running really close to the. So we're going to clip them, solder them good, get a good, good connection. But all these connections already look better. That looks better. That's a sloppy solder job right there. I'm not even sure if that's a cold connection right there. Yeah, right there. That is pretty janky. We're going to go through there and fix all that. Look at that. You know, some of these are just cold solder joints. Not enough filler in the in there. Yeah, that one right there is. We're going to fix this thing. I hope. We're going to try it. Yeah, cold solder joints. And a lot of slag. Can't let that solder drip in there. Looks like we still have a little piece right there. Anyway. We'll bring you back, guys. I'm not going to show you a soldering job on camera. But, uh. We'll bring you back. We'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Alright, take it easy. We'll be right back. Okay, folks. I think we got her cleaned up and soldered up. Soldered up first. It's hard to do this with the regular old camera, yeah? But, mm, we got her. I cleaned it up with some uh, electrical cleaner. <clears throat> Major part of the electric cleaner is isopropyl alcohol with minimal water in it. It's uh, like 99%. So anyway, we got that cleaned up. No more uh, cold joints. Sweetness. All right. So we're gonna put Popper back together. We'll bring you back. And see if she works. If she doesn't, you'll still see the video. I promise. All right, folks. So I haven't put the cover plate on or the screws. I just slid the the body over it. It still has to be have the cover plate put back and the screws on the side to hold it together however we have it plugged in let's see if we did a good job or not or if we fixed it Sean Mr. Fix-It Lee here we go hey look her there you can actually read it now yeah We fixed it, guys. That's nice. Hang on. Get some light here. Yeah, so. Eh. Let's see if the buttons function eight. Yep. Nice. We did it, guys. 
thumbs up. I got this on eBay for, let me see, the listing was for, uh, you could uh, buy it now for $20 or you could bid on it. Well, I bid on it and I got it for five. Five bucks. We got a good charger. Right on. I know these chargers go new for like 20 bucks, so I wasn't going to pay that. But five bucks. Thumbs up. Take care, guys. Love y'all. Bye bye.